Here's the fella who gave the Dodgers the championship. Sandy, in Los Angeles, when you pitched your 7 to nothing shutout, you were quoted as saying after the game, I feel 100 years old. So today, how do you feel? 101. 101. <laughs> I feel great, Vinny. I know I don't have to go out there anymore for about four months. <laughs> Sandy, it appeared from upstairs that your fastball was really your only pitch for quite some time. Yes, it was. I don't know what it was today. I didn't have the curveball at all, and I wasn't getting it over. And I just stayed with the fastball and tried to get it in pretty good spots. And when I got the lead, I tried to keep him from pulling the ball if I could. When Jim Gilliam sat here in the ninth inning and watched you on television, he turned and said to me, he looks like a fighter who has been hit and is now fighting on instinct. Is that over-dramatizing, or were you that tired? No, I, I'll tell you, I, I feel like uh, I was a little bit more tired in the... Uh, in the last ball game I pitched here, and I know I was more tired uh, the day we won the pennant against Milwaukee, but uh, I think it was a lot hotter in Los Angeles, and uh, the cool weather uh, keeps you from tiring a little bit. I felt like uh, my fastball last three or four innings was as good or better than it was early in the ball game, which I really didn't expect uh, on two days rest. I figured by the end of the ball game I'd have to go to the curveball. Most veteran newspaper men around the ballpark were watching to see when you and Drysdale arrived which of the two had already shaved because it's uh -huh. traditional that the pitcher with the beard is going to pitch. But you and Drysdale both came in unshaven. When did you find out you were going to pitch today? Well, I found out when we got here. That's why neither of us were shaved. <laughs> well, you didn't know until you no, got here? No, Now, tell me when you found out. Was it in front of the entire club? Yeah. Did the manager go over or what? Yeah, Walt had a meeting, and uh, he said that he thought he'd like to start the left-hander, and uh, he had a reason for it. He said, if I have to make a switch, I'd rather go left, right, left talking about Paranowski as his last man if he had to make two moves then start the right hander and go left left you don't uh, you don't change their lineup any when you do that let's see you've had four no hitters a perfect game you have struck out 18 you have a world series record of 15 in one game where does this one fit in as far as thrills are concerned I don't know of any uh, this has got to be as high as any of them this whole year is a thrill uh, we were a ball club that everybody said that was going to finish fifth and we lost Tommy Davis they thought we were going to finish eighth and we went on to win a pennant, and uh, everybody did such a great job. Uh, Lou Johnson, who hit the home run today, uh, he came up when Tommy got hurt and did a great job and carried us for the first 10 days to two weeks he was here. And uh, I think that got us over the hump. Uh, without uh, Lou coming up and doing that great job right then, I think uh, the whole ball club probably would have sagged a little bit. Sandy, thank you so very much. And now go on back and sit down and relax a little while. Thank you, buddy.